Could you please give me a short description of the F-35 uh, airplane? Absolutely. F-35 is a multi-role fifth generation aircraft uh, designed to be low observable and uh, it's got uh, sensor fusion which takes several sensors around the aircraft and fuses them together to provide one track uh, for me as the pilot to uh, to focus on other tasks as opposed to picking out individual tracks from different sensors. That's the, the basic design of the aircraft, designed to uh, do suppression of enemy air defenses, uh, air to air, both offensive and defensive counter air, and uh, close air support in support of ground troops on the ground. Uh, please describe the weapons uh, that are on the fighter. Sure. Uh, air to air, we carry the A120 uh, uh, AMRAAM, uh, and then we carry for uh, for bombs, we carry GB31 uh, JDAMs, GPS guided weapons, and then we carry uh, GB12s, which are laser guided weapons. In your experience as a pilot, uh, is this fighter uh, does this fighter have a better feeling uh, when flying compared to other fighters? It's different. I, I came from the uh, from the F-16, which is a great airplane in its own right. Uh, this airplane is in its own uh, in its own world, uh, above and beyond what I used to be able to do in the uh, in the F-16, and it, it's absolutely a joy to fly. And uh, lastly, is this the best fighter in the world? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough question to answer. I think it's the best at what it's designed to do, which is uh, the only uh, fifth generation multi-role uh, fighter that does both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface uh, just about equally well. Um, and I'm, I'm biased because I fly it, so obviously I think it's the, uh, the best aircraft out there. Thank you. Thank you. Rääkki mulle avasõnadega, mis teil siin täna toimus? Täna on meil siin kaks kõige paremad hävitajad maailmas. Nad on osa kõige põhimõtteliselt relvasüsteemist, F-35. Viene põlgane hävitajad on arendatud pargimenda aastat ja nüüd tänane tuleks siia. Näitab, et nad on valmis oma ülesandit täitma. Mis eesmärgi need hävitajad siia tulid? Ta on treening, väljaõppe ning ka heidutav sõnuv võimalikele vaenlastele, et nad on ühtne ja kõik NATO liitlased ka kõige suuremad kaitsevad kõige väiksemaid. Nende lennukite kohal alu siin kas või lüükiseks ajaks, mis sõnumi võiks Eesti rahvale anda? Sõnum Eesti rahvul on väga selge, et meie Ameerika liitlased on meiega nii heas kui halvas. Kas kui need lennukid tuleks siia ka pikemaks ajaks, kas MR lennubaas oleks valmis neid vastu võtma? Need lennukid on üsna vähenõudlikult toetusosas, nii et MRI lennupaas koos tugiüksusega on valmis neid vastu võtma. Kas on lootust, et need hävitajad tuleksid siia ka pikemaks ajaks? Operatiivselt vajadust selleks ei ole, et ma ei usu, et nüüd sellel aastal või järgmisel, aga varsti mine tea. Miks oleks just Eesti? parim riik, kui võiks tuua rohkem sellist tehnikat? Julgeolek on jagamatu ja MRI baas ja Eesti ei osalik lõudusvõistlusest teiste liitlastega. Ma usun ja loodan, et need lennukid hakkavad ilmuma kõikidesse NATO õhubaasidesse peatselt. Ja lõpetuseks, mis tunne teil isiklikult tekis, kui nägite nii võimselt tehnikat siin just nämaris? Eesti õhuväge on nüüd pärast taas asutamist arendatud üle 20 aasta ja see on üks sõnmus, mis nii minul kui paljudel teistel ilmselt võtab silma kergelt märjaks. See on see, mida me võibolla isegi ei osanud detailselt ette näha, aga mida me 20 aastat tagasi kirjeldasime oma arengukavades ja konseptsioonides, kuidas kuidas Eesti õhuvägi peaks aastal 2017 välja nägema. Suure aitäh teile. Please give me a short description in your own words what happened here today. Um, well, today it was um, a real honor, of course, to be here for the first um, or part of the first training deployment of the uh, United States Air Force F-35 Joint Strike Fighter um, here to uh, Amari in uh, Estonia. Clearly for NATO, this aircraft represents the cutting edge of future um, air technology, not just in terms of the unique capabilities this aircraft um, offers in its own right, but also the fact that it serves to enhance and magnify the potential of the existing platforms we already have.
You mentioned the unique capabilities of the fighters. Could you please elaborate on that? Um, in terms of um, its cutting edge technology, clearly what they now term as fifth generation aircraft um, offers unique um, sensor fusion, stealth, versatility, multi-role combat capability. And it's those fusion capabilities that serve to link and are interoperable with the existing platforms that act in that force multiplying way. Those fighters are here only for a short time. Do we have a chance to see them uh, in the future in Estonia or in the uh, region? Um, certainly in the region. I know that the United States um, Air Force Detachment uh, this time round is going to visit a number of other NATO nations as part of this deployment. But clearly with the aircraft coming into the inventory of a number of NATO nations in the very near future, we're going to see F-35s operating across Europe in the very near future. Uh, the presence of the fighters, uh, what message uh, would it send to the Estonian people? Um, to the Estonian people, hopefully um, it just amplifies the commitment of the alliance, I think, to the Baltic states. Um, here, obviously, at Amari, we already run the air policing detachment. Um, we saw during the ceremony the, um, the German Eurofighters um, you know, operating as part of that detachment, and I think the F-35 deployment today is just a further uh, recognition of the commitment the alliance has to the Baltic states. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that okay? Yep.